Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers, and I'm looking today at a book from Edward Elgar Publishing. It's an interesting book in its own right. It's on biotechnology and software patent law, part of the IP uh, systems, if you like. It's been edited by Emanuela Arezzo and Gustavo uh, Gadini, and it's a comparative review of the new developments in this area of law. We've given it a title of Biotech, Infotech and Patent Law, some pertinent and current discussions from Europe and America, and that's what it is. This is the book here. As you can see, it's this lightish book, it's not too heavy. Some blurb on the back. It's part of the New Directions in Patent Law series from El El Edward Elgar. There's a good little um, index at the back. It's about 350 pages long altogether, the book. Um, there's a good introduction which sets out where we are with biotechnology and this area of software patent law. Very important area for the 21st century. The book doesn't have paragraph numbering, but it has copious, meticulous footnotes which give you a, a great deal of assistance. And you can see that there are a lot of individual contributions throughout. Very much a standard staple of the um, Elgar Library. Uh, very much geared towards academics, but it does bring in uh, a lot of issues which we have to deal with as IP lawyers. And some, so from the beginning of the new millennium onwards, which is our starting off point, I think, it looked as though new developments in biotechnology would be the new innovative force which would dominate the 21st century, and so events have proved, in our view. Patent law obviously has had to keep pace, and likewise patent lawyers and IP practitioners need to stay up to date. Bearing all this in mind, those uh, professional groups will definitely constitute the natural audience for this book. It's published as part of the Elgar series on New Directions in Patent Law, as I've indicated, and it aims to monitor and analyse emerging issues in patent law as they happen thereby encouraging scholastic debate. The editors have compiled a collection of learned papers from prominent, um, prominent academics across the world, basically, from Stanford and Georgetown to Oxford, Maastricht, Zurich and Rome, and much more. The book's divided into three parts. The first explores general themes, um, then questions which are asked such as, uh, is software a product or a piece of technology? Uh, used to make products, hence just a means to build an invention. Those sorts of questions are asked, and um, many other points are sort of covered uh, in, in what is a very detailed analysis in, in the various parts. Some of the most intriguing articles are found in the third part on emerging themes in biotech industries, which I think many people find rather technical, but they are, they are quite interesting. As the book subtitle indicates, this is a comparative review, so do bear that in mind. So if you're an IP lawyer, an academic, or possibly a graduate student in commercial or competition law, I think this book will lead you down some fascinating avenues for discussion, thought, and debate on many of the critical issues now facing us in patent law. So thank you very much to the contributors and to Elgar for producing an excellent contribution to this emerging area of law which is um, taking hold fairly rapidly in the 21st century. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.